Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I've got something a little random for you. I'm going to make a launcher toy. Don't have any idea what I mean? Well, neither do I yet. But I am no stranger to making toys. I did make this rubber band gun toy before I started my YouTube channel. You can actually see some pics way back on my Instagram if you want to check that out. But I designed the mechanism because that's kind of fun for me. It's spring loaded. It's got a wheel that holds four rubber bands. So what am I talking about with this launcher toy? Well, I've had this tube sitting in my metal bin for a number of years now. And it's a really nice tube. And I have yet to make anything out of it. It's about an inch and a half in diameter, eighth inch thick. So I think I'm going to make a spring-loaded launcher that I can put whatever I want in the tube and then the spring will be released and shoot it into the air. So let me draw something, see if I can find a spring and then we'll see where we're at. Here's my notes. You can kind of see where I started. And here's where I ended up. It's going to be a straight design. So I set about to design and 3D print two different parts. Here's the first part, which is the handle or the bottom spring retainer. And then there's also the piston, which is the top spring retainer. So all I have to do is slice these and send them to the 3D printer. You may have noticed that weird little crease in the model of my handle, and that's because I cut a section out of it. Here's the first version. I misplaced the time lapse for the actual version. Pistons much quicker. I also found this small piece of tube. It's about a half inch in diameter. This will work good for my locking pin that you'll then push with your thumb to release if you caught that from my drawing. Here's the handle that I designed and 3D printed. It's going to fit right on the tube, just like this. And you can see I designed four holes into it as well as four nut pockets that I learned how to do on my three pound robot project. And so all I will have to do is insert those nuts, drill four holes into this aluminum tube, and then it'll screw right together. And I designed it such that the nuts should take the load from the spring since this spring will fit into this pocket. We'll see. Here's the other part, the plunger or piston, if you like, that I designed and 3D printed. You can see the spring pocket on this side. And this is where the locking pin goes. And the top, it's really just a hole because it was easier to print it this way and not have a flat surface there that needed supports. So it was printed like that. And I think what I'm gonna do is put a tapered screw in there that will hold that locking pin in and provide a little flat surface on the bottom there for whatever you want to put in and launch. I was going to use an M6, but the M6 nuts that I'm going to use for the other piece don't actually, the nuts don't fit in this tube, just barely. And so an M5 would be a good choice, but I don't happen to have any M5 nuts or short tapered screws. So an M4 will do it. That's how it's going to look. All right, and there's my finished plunger piece. So now I got to cut the big notches in the side and drill the holes in the bottom, which 
probably going to do the bottoms first because I don't have the spring yet and I can't absolutely be certain of the measurements that I got online. So let's drill some holes in this tube and see if we can get the handle attached. spring. I think this one will work. Not really sure. I'm not expert with springs. Although I do know that it takes a lot of force to get a lot of projectile out of a spring. So we'll see how we do with this one. Just have to test it on the plunger. Yeah, so I need to open up this ring a little bit. But I think on the handle. Yeah, a little tight maybe, but kind of a perfect fit. So that'll work. I just need to reprint that. So now the next thing I need to do is I need to make the slot in this tube. Just verify my measurements here, which I think will be good. <laughs> 